had a dream that I was with this group. And oh, thank you, Jesus, for this dream. Oh, God, I love you so much. I was with this group, and it was this guy that was with us. And he was very, he wasn't a Christian to the level that I was and other people in the group. He had a an evilness about him, like an evilness towards God. Like um, he was a professing Christian and everything like that, but he wasn't pursuing God like the rest of us were, like deeply, like really, really trying to really get to know God. And he just, I, it was like he felt like it didn't take all that. Like we were doing too much. And anyway, we, there was some kind of school, some kind of class that people were in. Some of them, some of the people in the group were in school. And some of them were, had kids that was in school. So it was a mixture, some in school, some kids in school. And I had to go there because she did not, it was a, a test that she needed to take. And she didn't take this test. So I had to go there and help her get into this class to take this test in a, in a different class. Okay, like she didn't take the test in her class. So I went to this other teacher that had red hair, white guy. And he was really, really nice. And I asked him, could she take the test in his in his class? And he was like, yeah, it was an extra seat in there. The way these seats were, it wasn't like a typical classroom. The seats were faced towards the teacher as he was giving his test. And it was like a multiple choice test. And but the seats of the students were side by side, like in a horizontal row, like nobody sitting in back of them, just this big horizontal row that just it was weird. It was it was like this really long line of a horizontal row of of students taking this test. And and she didn't even take the test in her class. She just totally blew it off and she didn't have. The dream showed me that she didn't even care to properly bring the supplies that she needed. I had to keep helping her. I had to help her. And so I went and asked the teacher, could she take the, the, the test? And he said, yes. So I let her take the test. And then I had to, to ask her something before we left. And I was with my group and I kept asking her something over and over right in front of her face and she totally ignored me. She totally ignored me like she was focusing on the test and I'm standing right in front of her and I kept asking her and in front of my friends, I was so embarrassed because she was just completely blowing me off like, like I was an idiot and, and she didn't care about me asking her anything. She had no respect for me at all whatsoever. And I left out the class looking at her because I was looking at her as I was asking her something. And it was something important that I needed to know. And it was going to cause me grief to, that I didn't, that she didn't answer this question out. In the dream, it didn't reveal to me what, it, what, what I was asking her, but it was important. And I knew that it was going to make me have to do more work to have to help her because she wouldn't answer this question, but she didn't care. And in the dream, I had to stop what I was doing. It was like we was on a mission and I had to stop what I was doing to, um, to help her. And then I just left out with the group that I was with and they was looking at me and I was really embarrassed that she was still very disobedient and still relying on me to do everything and to help her along the way to make sure she graduated. 
because I was pushing and pushing trying to make sure she graduated. And it was really embarrassing and strainful for me to have to drop what I was doing all the time to try to help her and go back and forth to the school because she wouldn't even ask a simple question. She totally ignored me, very di disobedient. And there was this guy on the team that was on uh, that was with me. I, I wouldn't even call it a team. We was just together. Um, I was with a group. And this one guy who was not taking God as serious, he had students in the, in the, in the school as well. And he was having to do the same thing I was doing. And I remember as we was walking, I was looking at him. And I said, he's going to end up like my, he's going to end up back in school having to, he's not going to, not, not so much back in school because he was, he was still in school. And I said, he's going to have trouble passing these, these, these um, classes he's in now because it was harder. The classes was getting tougher. You know, like when you're in college, as you go into your junior and senior year, it gets tougher. And this guy should have been out of school. His kids was in school still, too. He was a parent, and he was in school with his kids. And it was kind of embarrassing. Like, I was out of... That's, that's the, how it felt in the dream. Like, it was embarrassing that this guy was still in school. But he had this mentality like, it don't take all that. We don't need all that. And I was looking at him like he's not he's going to be just like her. He's going to have trouble passing these upper upper classes because of his disobedience and defiance towards God. He just kept thinking it don't take all that. Kept just kept thinking that he can just be a Christian on his level and by his rules and he didn't have to be totally devoted and all in. And it and I was just looking at him like he going to be right there with her. And it was a shame because she was not passing these classes the way that she needed to be because she was in, she was so bad. And in the dream, too, the teacher was looking at me and he gave me this look like, oh, she's going to be a, a difficult student in my class. She was very rude to the teacher. She didn't say thank you for letting me because all of that, the, when she went to sit, sit down in his class, because that wasn't even her teacher. He was just being nice. She didn't say, thank you for letting me sit here or acknowledge him in any way, shape whatsoever. And he gave me this look like, oh, wow. You know, like he was really, really nice guy. And I felt embarrassed for him, too, because she was so nasty. Her attitude was so nasty and horrible. And I was like, oh, no, she is embarrassing me in front of him, too. It was bad. It was really, really bad. And so, um, yeah, I knew the other guy that I was walking with, he was going to have trouble too. And he also had a dislike towards me. He, and it's, it's typical when you are pursuing God and pursuing him and pursuing him and you're with someone um, that knows you and they aren't pursuing him like you. A lot of times they start looking at you like you're the enemy because they just feel like you're doing too much. Like... It don't take all that. And in the dream, I was wearing my black military looking heavenly uniform again. And um, he he was just he was kind of hateful towards me. And in the dream, he was escalating in his hatred as the classes was getting tougher for him. He was hating me even more because I wasn't even in school anymore. I had graduated. And in the dream, it was people that was with us that was in the group with us that had, wasn't even in school. We had graduated. I graduated. I was done. But he, you know, he was still in, a grown man in school with his kids. It was embarrassing. And he was starting to resent me because, and I was the leader of this group. As well, let me say that I I was leading this group. It was I was just a leader. I don't know. I was a leader, but yeah. So it was it was bad. He was going to end up not passing, and that was the dream.